Ryan Garcia, you good for nothing in the sport of boxing. You come out with four or five days left to your fourth positive PED test. And you say now you want to start your own league that you don't care if you're banned from the sport of boxing. Well, I'll tell you what, Ryan, you and everybody with you need a foot in your ass so you can call it the fullest fit league. I'm anti-black. <laughs> yeah, let's join the Ku Klux Klan. Let's fuck good. Yeah, I'm KKK. I hate. I'm the leader of KKK, and I summon you to be the knight in charge. No, I'm KKK. No, I'm KKK. I'm not. I've got hey. the AK-47 ready. Let's let's get the next George Floyd. Hey, 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 hey let's go bring George Floyd back to life and again. <laughs> Ryan Garcia's recent rant on social media, which targeted Muslims and black people, has sparked outrage in the boxing community. Garcia has faced a tumultuous few weeks, including a positive drug test result after his fight against Devin Haney, resulting in a one-year suspension from the New York State Athletic Commission. The boxing world has been harsh in its criticism, labeling him a cheat, and he seems to have lost the respect he gained from his victory over Haney. To make matters worse, his team has failed to support him during this challenging time. It appears that the cumulative effect of the criticism and hatred led to Garcia's shocking outburst. Floyd Mayweather recently highlighted his loyalty to Tank Davis, despite Davis's negative comments about him, potentially taking a jab at Oscar de la Hoya for abandoning Garcia in his time of need. Negative, I could really say something positive. Mm -hmm. But when it's all said and done, Oscar De La Hoya is not, he's not my promoter. He was one of, once um, an opponent of mine. And we all, we all approach situations in a different way. Rather Tank was to win or he was to be on the other side and take a loss, I would have stood right there behind him, 100%. And it's no different from, you guys seeing a lot of times Tank Vin out on social media, but I'm, I'm right there. He's, he's young, mm -hmm. so um, if I'm with you, I'm with you through the good, the bad, and the ugly, and I've always spoke about... Oscar De La Hoya condemned Ryan Garcia's racist comments in a social media post and public statement, distancing himself from the young boxer. We at Golden Boy, including myself, we don't condone any, you know, racism and any type of... It's, it's just wrong. It's wrong and uh, it's, it's not good what he said and, uh, you know, we strongly feel that I just heard Ryan saying that he's going into rehab. Um, it's, it's a step in the right direction for him personally. But yeah, we at Golden Boy and I've spoken to my partner Bernard Hopkins and we just don't condone that. It's 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 wrong. I don't know if it's his drinking, I don't know if it's him doing mushrooms and this but when you listen I listened to a video and he was slurring and this so he's in a bad, bad place. Oscar de la Hoya has confirmed that Ryan Garcia is seeking professional help by checking into rehab, a move widely seen as a positive step towards addressing his personal struggles and recovering from his current controversies. Fernandez, try to touch me all y'all want. Shoot me if you want. Yeah, I'm gonna be on my brother's court. And guess what? Nobody gonna touch me at the fight either. None of you guys are real, bro. None of you guys do anything in person. This is all internet. You guys are all internet gangsters, bro. You guys are internet gangsters. I really want everybody to come try me. Bro, I cannot get touched. What are you talking about? Bro, I'm not gonna get touched, ever. Somebody please touch me. Please. Untouched. Untouched, won't be touched, nothing's gonna happen, you guys are weird. The boxing world has reacted with widespread condemnation and concern following Ryan Garcia's recent controversial statements. 
The World Boxing Council WBC, took swift action expelling Garcia after he made racial slurs against Muslims and black people during a live stream. DBC President Mauricio Suleiman rejected any form of discrimination and expressed concerns over Garcia's mental well-being. Boxing promoter Eddie Hearn was not surprised by Garcia's outburst and suggested that Garcia needs treatment for his mental health. Additionally, Garcia was suspended by the New York Athletic Commission for testing positive for performance-enhancing drugs. The boxing community has come together to denounce Garcia's behavior and urge him to seek help. Expelled, I think was the word the WBC used. Um, just your original thoughts. Yeah, I mean, I'm... That, like, it makes no difference to me what Ryan Garcia does. But, as I said before, I think the, the guy has a good heart. I think he, I think he's a decent person. But his head's fallen off and he's he needs help ASAP. I said this, you know, I noticed this, the first press conference for Haney Garcia. I was looking at him going, well, what's, what has happened to this bloke? I've, known, I've met him a few times in, and I looked at him, I was like, what has happened to this guy? And everyone was like, no, I think he's just selling the show, etc. Then I saw him at a press conference on Fight Week and it was like even worse. I mean, you know, he ended up performing pretty well in the fight. Obviously, we know maybe why, maybe whatever. But you could tell, like, after the fight, he turned out and he said, no, 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 that it was all a front. And everyone went, wow, I can't believe it. I told you it was all a front. And I'm thinking, no, no, it's not. And now, obviously, we're seeing it wasn't and it isn't. And some of the stuff that obviously was said yesterday, it's just, it's kind of like the end of the road with it now. So people have had to intervene, like the WBC, even I think the family issued a statement. Eddie Hearn expressed relief that people are finally acknowledging Ryan Garcia's need for help after previously being given a pass for his controversial statements. Hearn welcomed the shift in perspective, hoping it would lead to Garcia receiving the support and guidance he needs to address his struggles. For people to say he needs help, but what can people actually do when his family are the ones putting a Oscar, statement out? I had out? this with Scott Fitzgerald, right? Steve Wood sent him to into rehab. You know, we helped him. He came out. I was talking to him all the time. I was trying to get him to, you know, see different people. Get and you, there's only so much you can do. So now people are actually taking a stance on it, which is a good thing. And hopefully that'll be enough. I know it, um, he was talking about going to spa Virgil Ortiz, um, but just in that, of fighters around him or fighters kind of goading him, have they got to take a step back as well? Because the more he gets yeah, goaded, the more he's going to continue. Some of the like, things, just got to ignore some of the things that he said to fighters and some of the things he said about fighters' families are extremely personal. So you can't just expect people to go, oh, give him a free pass for it, do you know what I mean? But obviously people now realise that he's behaving that way and he has a problem. So you could at least, I guess, take it in a different kind of way. Would you be happy to work with Ryan Garcia in the future? If this no, is all look, first things first, priority for him is get well. So it's not unrepairable damage that he's doing at no, the moment. I mean nothing's very few things in life are unrepairable. But what he should be doing now is gearing up for the return. But he's got a long way to go. Till he Bill Haney responded to Ryan Garcia's recent controversial statements with a mix of sympathy and concern. While he expressed pity for Garcia's current situation, he emphasized that Garcia's actions were unacceptable and needed to be addressed seriously. Haney urged Garcia to seek immediate help and also criticized those close to Garcia for not providing sufficient support, highlighting the need for accountability. I'm definitely not happy to see the kid crashing out, you know. Um, you know, I, I always try to be as optimistic as I can as just a human being and I hope that, you know, everyone could be with me in my most trying times, as well as him going through his or anyone in my family. These are the times that, um, you know, uh, we show our resiliency, we show our character. You know, we don't get, uh, you know what I mean? We don't misrepresent what we represent and that's positivity. And I, um, I know, dude, now it shows that, uh, you know, the upbringing, because I think I say more than any time, 
these are times that having a dad who's been there on that roller coaster with you, that up, ups and downs, um, that their voice is loud and vocal uh, at the top, as well as when you've hit rock bottom, you know, so <clears throat> uh, that team, you know what I mean? Uh, Bill Haney continued his critique, referencing his prior conversation with Floyd Mayweather on Instagram Live where he felt Mayweather mocked him for supporting his son. Haney believes Ryan Garcia's lack of family and team support led to his downfall and also condemned online trolls and content creators for perpetuating harmful content. He specifically called out Showbiz for indirectly promoting controversial moments as entertainment. Knowing what's going on, I'm trying to stay connected and stay and have an ability to jump on there with them clowns. You know, them clowns that go around with your son and they're on the internet and they talking this stupid leading and, and coercing and, you know, all that kind of shit. And where are you as a parent, right? You sitting back letting the trolls say, oh, well, you're not supposed to get out the way while you have a bunch of idiots sit up and ruin a guy's career. No, so there's some things that we can learn too as parents and being part of the support team uh, with these tremendously talented individuals that, that are um, under a whole lot of pressure to please. And through that frustration, either they're telling the truth or they're lying. Either way, you hear a frustrated individual it's not me to dictate whether he's lying or he's telling the truth, but I can see a kid just frustrated. Now, instead of rallying around him and, adjust, and, and addressing the real frustration and the why he didn't done the shit that he's done, you bullshit content creators have created an atmosphere where you're applauding it, sensationalize it when behind the scenes, He's being punished. You know? I tried to find more reactions from boxers or coaches, but couldn't find any. You can try searching online for the latest news and updates. I'm here to show him his support. That's the, I know Ryan. I, just, I know Ryan, and when Sean fights, Ryan shows up. He supports no, I, him. I just pray. I just pray. I pray over him because you know everybody has their own demons, and that sometimes when you're in the spotlight. It's kind of hard because you have a, a, a glass on you. So I pray over him. I hope he gets the right help that he needs because, uh, you know, there's everybody that has their demons. And Sean feels that his brother, a superstar in the sport, is not even here to, to, but, to, but, to, to support him or be at the wing or be there every step of the way. I know that the unity yeah. in my family, my boys, yeah, I got, you know, been here all five weeks. Yeah, I've been here on, all bro. five weeks because they know what it is. And um, I'm there with them, each one of them. You know what I mean? Be, but I'm not doing something that I, no, no father would do. No. Watched and heard what I, what I saw. And um, just hate to see anybody. I'm sure it offended way. you as well over making you sad. It know? didn't It didn't offend me. Um, it just, it made me sad. And I think it didn't offend me because I know him. I don't know him very, that well. But I know like the heart that's inside of him. And so that's it's sad in me to see him not display the the, the the good, wholesome kid that he that he was all the way up until a year ago, you know? Yeah. Um he apologized on Twitter. Um yeah, do you do you accept his apology personally and, and overall? That's obviously I don't know I don't know how you see that, but he's also gonna check in and rehab. But you know he, he's I saw that out. too. Um check out in the business and the sport. Ryan Garcia going on the rant uh, a day or two ago. Um what you did you hear about it and any thoughts on it? Um yeah, I, I heard about it, you know. I don't I don't talk about it, honestly. Um He's young. There's no excuse for ignorance, right? But I just, you know, I, let's see. You know, the um, universe, the universe can handle that. The universe can handle that. It's not my place to um to to to, to protect him. It's not my place to to, to hit him while he's down. It's not my place at all, right? Of course, you got to be mature enough. He's he's older now, so you really can't make that excuse for him no more. You got to be mature enough to know what to do, what to say, what not to say. Um. Do I take it offensive? 
I don't. It seems like Ryan Garcia's apology attempt was not well received by the public. His statement was perceived as insincere and trying to justify his past racist comments by mentioning his black friends. The public is calling for him to take responsibility for his actions and words, rather than trying to downplay them. The situation is ongoing, and it will be interesting to see how it develops and if Garcia will face any consequences for his actions.